My Gavan and Melonine, and well met indeed. I'm Ara here, Gala Dirithin, head of the Modding Team behind Divide and Conquer. Welcome back as we continue on with the aftermath of our successful crushing of the defense of Mistrand. And unfortunately, as many people mentioned, and I'd forgotten to, to also look in look at, um, we are about to get the ring. Viduha is about to get it probably at the end of this next turn, unless Avalyn oh, or one of those got it. No, so um, we're about to get the ring. Um, and then we're going to be asked to go all the way to Imladris, and then we're going to have to go back to Baradur. Um, now, if we just discussing the ring just for a brief moment, if we toggle the fog of war, because as I've already mentioned, I really don't want to fight against Mordor, and I'm not keen on actually bothering attacking them. Um, and Mordor are doing rather well at the moment, holding Gondor back. Um, Gondor are not at war with Cand. Um, but Mordor are. So if Mordor were to fall, if a vacuum was created here, then Rohan and Gondor would probably fall into it, but Cand would most likely start mopping up most of this area. And um, I don't know, I don't think Cand would then come for us, but there's, I suppose there's a risk that they could. Uh, basically, the reason I'm saying this is because I personally would be very much in favour of simply cheap moving whoever gets the ring to Imladris, getting the next quest, and then simply cheap moving him to Mordor and us just taking Mordor out of the equation because I just really don't want to fight against them. I appreciate it will um, affect the yes. balance somewhat because our major southern enemy will go, but as you are all aware, once Rune has been defeated, we're going after Dale. Um, we're going to head north and attack them, not Mordor. So I don't want to have someone... I don't want us to be attacked on the southern edge by a nation who I really don't want to fight against because we've fought against them so many times before. So I would welcome your thoughts as to whether or not you think we should cheap move... Oh, damn, they've got cavalry of their own. We're never going to win with them um, if they've got cavalry. So I'd be interested to see if you think that we should cheap move a general around so that Mordor just get wiped out and they're gone. Or whether or not you think... Um, oh, is that their own cavalry that's come for us? Or whether you think we should uh, ignore it. Because I'm not going to send a general to Imladris on his own. No, it is the cavalry. Bugger. Uh, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let the auto-resolve decide this 48 plays 48 engagement. Uh, and it is a crushing defeat. Oh dear. Retreat. No surprises there. They are better cavalry than us. Um, so do let me know no your thoughts today. in the comments below. And um, actually, if I'll, I'll write it down right now. Poll. I'll put a YouTube poll on the video um, so you can vote. Should we cheat move Mordor out of the game? Because we need to use the ring to destroy them. I could just use the cheat commands that destroys Mordor. But it won't actually destroy Mordor because they can't be defeated with the cheat command. Why doesn't that have an icon? That's ridiculous. So there we are. Viduha has the one ring. Um, so now on the next turn, we're going to get asked to go to Imladris. And we'll have a number of terms to terms with an N to go over and do that. Oh, look, they backed off of their Duhar bill attack. That's interesting. Are we making money? No, we're still losing it. Um, my lord. Yes, my lord. Well, we, we should keep up our momentum definitely keep up our momentum. They haven't got the last stand army because we attacked way too late. It only occurs in the first 20 or so turns, I think. I will not waste words on you. Rune have got a really I small will. army coming at us over there like that's a tiny tiny army. So we we'll send the cavalry yes. back. March to exhaustion. Varfest, I think we might attack Varfest. We'll probably do that now. Your order. So Avalyn, you uh, can oh, where should we go? I think we should group up there. Hmm. Cuz this guy's dealing with the southern edge. Um, the only reason why I mentioned the ring is because now that we've got it, unfortunately, we have to do something about it. Oh, I could have moved Viduhar out of the castle. That was so stupid of me. Um, we have to do something about it. We will now be asked to uh, take it to Imladris, and if we don't, all of the good factions will hate us. Yes, my I'm, uh, Personally, I suppose I'm actually happy to just leave it as it is, and Mordor will likely be crushed, hopefully, by Cand and Gondor together. Uh, but anyway, enough of what they're doing. Let's talk about what we're going to do and what we're going to do is take the bulk of this army here As you come on. ah Mistrand likes us because we murdered everybody uh, there's still 12,000 people there though that's no small amount of people yes move right tried. so Lord, Avalyn if Lord. you take uh, no so yes, Adurka you Lord. go with Vidahar yes and Frothir and your Lord, garrison force Orders. come yes, and join Avalyn 
You're all big, my lord. You guys head south. I'm not too worried that we're losing money because we've really yes, just absolutely dealt a crushing blow to Rune. Your orders, my lord. Rifat gets absolutely no garrison troops whatsoever, and Captain, what's your name, Kuraish, you've got very few forces, so that's not a problem. Uh, so I will do the poll anyway, just to gauge opinion. Um, do note that I think if you watch it on mobile, uh, no, sorry, if you watch the video with any form of ad blocker, I think it blocks the polls, because I personally cannot see the poll on my video, and I uh, use Mozilla Firefox, which has a sort of inbuilt ad blocker, if memory serves. Um, uh, but previously I used to use Chrome, and on Chrome I had an ad blocker, and uh, it did... I could never see the polls, but on my mobile where there was no ad blocker, I could see the poll. So, um, the YouTube one, if you can't see it, it's probably because of ad blocking. Right, um, we don't want archers on the ground. Uh, their army here is really quite, quite poor. Uh, <laughs> it should be a relatively straightforward engagement, and we've got quite a lot of cavalry, actually. Where one of those is... Yes, there he is. Um, so, cavalry, you're going to deal with the reinforcements if they come and try and bother us. Uh, the rest of you... Can stand like this. We have got an elven archer unit, and there's quite... We've got a lot of arrows. The enemy have brought up more men. Now, remember, they've got slightly better siege towers than we... Uh, they've got better... Yes, we're going to get... A, a lot of our men are going to die to those towers. Um, and there's little that we can do about that. Men of the Thorn. So all of you, come nice and wide. It looks like they're abandoning the towers. So, come and stand like... No, that's a, an awful position. Um, oh, I've pressed the can caps lock. <laughs> right, weak and pathetic archers go into the foreground. Uh, better archers come at the back there. Crossbows, I don't think... Wherever we put you, it's not really going to matter. You're going to get basically no kills. Crossbows are so situational, and when not used in those perfect situations, they are not that great. I've also just noticed that every melee four unit that we have is actually on a siege uh, piece, rather other than our faction, uh, our commander here. That's Swain himself, but of course, um, Norway takes much of the glory in this one. Right, cavalry move over to the side. Um, crossbows, actually, you might as well move over to the side. You can come out of that formation. Oh no 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 backspace. Uh crossbows. You guys come over here. I have stone and iron to use for anger. I do spread out as as if you'll just pardon my poor command there for a moment. Um we're into positions now. Ah, they are gonna stay on the walls. Our enemy have nowhere to hide now. Well the battering ram is in place. It'll not be long before our enemy's defences fall. Damn. They are not going to get there in time. Go, 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 Please go. Go, get those dragon riders. Go. No. They're going to stop that siege unit. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Now the butchers work. Get into the siege tower, quick. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, perfect. Go. Go up. Well, the Dragon Riders have played their hand, so... Right, crossbows do run to there. I want you to go and shoot those, and I want you to come over here and get ready. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. The Dragon Riders are going down. Is the gate down yet? Come on! Uh, archers aren't doing anything. You must be able to shoot the bodyguard at the back. Oh, no, they can't. What is going on? Fighting on walls is notoriously difficult. Oh, the crossbows have been basically no use. But... Mounted and ready. Come and get into positions. You're already in positions. There's some Daratai warriors there. You pull back. You charge them. Perfect. The paladins moving into position. A great white stain 
No, we're not a stain. We are, they're controlled by us. <laughs> the great white... Uh, what's the opposite of a stain? Being clean, really. It doesn't really work, does it? I don't know what I'm trying to say, but they just look good on the hill there. <laughs> right, crossbows. Stop what you're doing. Change positions. Cavalry, pull out of there. Crossbows. You haven't charged into the uh, crossbowmen there very well at all. Come on, cavalry. Now, we are, we are so much better than them in melee uh, than that unit. The crossbowmen. Right, in we go. Our archers are just standing there dying to the towers. Captured the enemy's walls. Right, so they've gone through. Where do we need them most? Uh, no, I think we're winning on the walls, to be honest. Uh, if we could get our own archers on the walls, that would be amazing. No, he's coming. Only half the enemy force remains. The Locrian bodyguard. I oh, know he's running away. Hit those Daratai warriors. Crossbowmen, just hold them in position. You guys don't shoot anything. You pull out. Do shoot those. Get that cavalry away. Those Daratai will go down. Yep, yeah, the units on the wall on that side are certainly dying out. Let's get the Thorn Levy ish style unit out and in front. What's that down there? Oh, the Dragon Riders! The enemy general abandons his men. Of course he does. He's not fit for command! None of them are fit for command. Paladins move to the side. Once the outside engagement, of course, is finished, the Paladins will have absolutely no use. We're not sending them in. So if all of you could now just uh, thin off those spearmen. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. You finish those off. You finish those off. All of you, stop doing that. Stop doing that. And that's the outside taken care of. Right, our general went up onto the wall to assist on this flank so that the clansmen will go down. There's cavalry at the end there, which is slowly dying off to the hordes of vineyard bow fire. This wall, there's some tribesmen left alive. But walls are so slow to take. But we are going to do it. The problem is going to be that bodyguard unit, so let's get the crossbows involved. All of you, if you could just rain fire down on that Locrian bodyguard. Uh, let's speed it up a bit as we wait for the walls to fall. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. I don't think we're going to kill really a single one of this bodyguard unit in the t a whole time that we're going to do this. But... Ah, they're running away. Crossbows come in and after one volley they're doing their job right. Break across to that side. We need these towers. What have you stopped on? Right, nothing. There's no one here. There's, there's no one left on the wall. We're under attack. Stand together. We're under attack. I think we've just taken the walls. Are we still getting shot? I don't think we are. I think we've finally broken it. Right. Crossbows. Move into a better position, i.e. up on this wall, actually. Get them into position there, and then you, you, and you. Come stand there. You're going to head down there and kill those last few dragon riders. Those archers aren't, um, they don't have any use, but everyone back here now, just pull away. You never know, the walls might fall back into their command. Get all of them out. We've taken quite a few losses, and it'll almost all be from the towers. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. See? Here we are. 
Go on, and another volley. And another volley. Just keep shooting them. They're a really, really powerful unit, the Locrim Bodyguard. And particularly when they're not up against uh, like elite units. But our crossbows are taking a beating, but we are killing them off. Come on. The is very much in our favor. What? You know, oh, it's because there's someone over here. One bloody Balkoth tribesman. Where's he gone? How did no one kill him? I mean, come on! I should have been paying more attention. We've lost almost all of our crossbows in this fight. Our grand army, broken on the walls of Varfest. I don't think Swain should have a problem killing just those last two, though. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. The enemy general is dead. That's the captain, though, not the real general. That's Rafiq going down now, hopefully. Oh, no! An arrow tower just killed Swain. The arrow towers are absolutely massacring. There we go, we've gained the walls. A little too late, really. Right, you six. Yeah, it's ours. <laughs> oh, it does make me laugh when we lose this many. And the reason, of course, being... Um, very much that it, it just doesn't matter. This campaign is definitely won now. Go on, get one volley off at least. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, everyone. You've had to endure my poor performance again. And we've just watched Raffit take down most of our army on his own. But we have one trick up our sleeve. Good tidy. Be awed by and there the it goes. We have one here today. <laughs> 860. Oh, dear. I don't even want to know how many we lost to the Arrow Towers. But we lost Swain. But I have no emotional attachment to Swain. He's never proven himself, to my knowledge, as a particularly... Well, I've not given an opportunity to, let's be honest. Any general can prove himself by just simply, simply being put in a position where they have to fight a battle. <laughs> and then they can prove that they can do it. But um, that is a key example of how in the more defensive settlements like castles and, and just smaller layouts, where it's very easy to maintain the walls... Um, the towers do wonders for you and is a keen example that if you wish to assault a castle or a town with towers and you don't hugely overwhelm your enemy um, or rather you don't bring siege equipment it can be a bit of a tough fight we have triumphed. what is this it's a castle Lord, so it can be upgraded once more and honor have conquered. so we shall only sack it because we might it's losing money I've never known a town to lose money Again, they've definitely got a better uh, blacksmith than we had. And they've got everything we could possibly want. Oh, look, we can even get a Thalarangus in 17 turns. Everything can be retrained. Why am I doing that? We've got no money. We've got no money, Gallo. You're not going to retrain anything. But had we brought catapults or, or ballastai, for example, we would have taken down those towers without any trouble. And... Um, we would have lost basically nothing. That battle was would have been a doddle without the towers killing us. Who just became the Vine Regent? Ah, oh, what an excellent, excellent posting. The Vine Lord has the Vine Lordship has been given to Viduhar. Viduhar, are you actually part of the family? Ah, you are married to the daughter of Vine Regent Howen, who's just lost his only son. Ah, oh, but that's all right then. Well done, Ingrid. You chose well. You chose damned well. An order. So in the north, things go pretty damn well. Yes, um, in the south, they've taken a bit of a turn. But with Varfest falling out of Rune's control, this is excellent news for us. Absolutely excellent news for us.
Um, because that is a key, I've said it many times, it's a key recruitment location. As you've just seen, they've got all the recruitment buildings lined up there. Um, it would be able to constantly throw troops at us. So now it's just a case of sort the of mopping up the us. west to we shut down seen. these pathetic little uh, raids from the scum of the east. Uh, but And then, of course, cementing our hold in the east. We do know that there is a large army to the north of in the Winterinior area, I think. Uh, so we don't actually know. But I'm fairly certain that there is an army up there that we... Um, oh, the poll thing's not really going to matter because I've got to say yes or no right now. Urgent news, my lord. We have been summoned by the leader of the White Council to answer the threat of Mordor. Should we respond to this request? Um, I don't, to be honest, I don't actually really want to cheat Mordor out of the game. It just feels too cheesy. Um, so apologies. I'll pop a note on the poll that just says this is of no relevance because I'm just going to refuse. Um, I don't want to go to that meeting and I, I don't want the ring, but we'll hold on to it for now. Yes. What does it actually do for us? Five authority, three dread, three command, two public health, five hit points, minus one loyalty or minus three acumen. So uh, loyalty is irrelevant because the generals simply cannot abandon in you in, in divide and conquer. As you command. Why can't we get to Elgar? Oh, Captain Ukrumat. Look, they've brought people back we from the Isle of Nabur. The <laughs> <laughs> Your it list of allies Lord. grows thin, Rune. Oh, but we've moved off without our general and he's going to get trapped almost certainly. Why don't you stay in Mr. Enders, uh, Governor? And our southern army? Yes, my lord. We Captain Bakker. Bypass him. Glorious victory. Right, Varfest. Merge what we can merge. Um, I tell you what I'm going to do is... Um, my lord, by your command. Send the cavalry out to deal with the problems your of lord, the north. My lord. You three. Orders. Go. Making you guys head out. You guys, hold there for a moment. Let's just wait till Rune's inevitable... Um, your will, my where lord. Where am I after? As you wish. Well, they will um, retaliate. That's what we're after. And so we'll hold off any retaliations first. And then we'll move that army east. Um, we still aren't making money. But we're closing in on making money. That's a key, key factor. Do Harville still can't even train our basic troops? Dear, dear. Right, and we're in Elgar now. Securing that eastern side will work wonders as well. But really, just the, the loss of Mistra and, um, and the loss of Varfest will hamper Rune so, so much. Um, we will now just see... Rune are never going to have anything other than trash armies till they're wiped out now. And I appreciate that our attack on Dale is going to be... By the time it comes, we're going to be so much more powerful than Dale. Um, they're not going to be able to put up much of a fight. Uh, but that's kind of the point, isn't it? We just I just want to see Dale's units in action and... and they will never expect that we turn on them from out of nowhere. Now, I just realised we've sent all of our trash north. Uh, so if they've got any good units whatsoever, they'll do some damage here. But we have got Viduha. Ah, Nusaya, you stand alone. Are you in the town? Yes, you are. Right, and then the other two are captains. So this isn't a battle to be concerned with, really. No but it's the one to the north that's attacking us. And then there's, there'll be a general coming in from his... From our right hand side and our back left. So that guy was attacking us. So Nusayar is going to come in from over there. And then the other guy's going to come in on that bottom left corner. It's a very flat field, but we'll we'll take the fight here. The one thing we have got that they've not is a lot of archers. So trying to use archers to our advantage is going to be our best bet here. We've got some crossbows as well. You can deal with Nusaira as best you can. And then the defensive unit's just going to have to sort of pocket the lines. And we'll adjust you and move you around accordingly when the time comes. Just so we're ready when the time comes. Right, you go out of defence. You're in defence. You are T. Remember that. I changed all of the keys, by the way. So I'm very grateful to you all for telling me what the quick save was in the video uh, a few weeks back when I couldn't remember what the quick save was. The uh, but I should have canvassed that information by starting uh, by starting by saying that uh, I changed all of my hotkeys some time ago, and that's why I can't remember what they are because they're not the base game's hotkeys anymore, and they haven't been for a long time. 
So I think my quick save is actually F5 because that's what I have it in in almost every game I play. Uh, but uh, I can't remember. High paladins. Which side are we going to want the high paladins to face? So coming in on the main army, crossbowmen, bit of a boar, and some archers. Ah, so that's a very ranged heavy army. And then ranged cavalry as well. Jeez. So that's going to be a frustrating fight. So new plan. New plan. Melee units, you're going over here. All of you are going over here. All four archer units come nice and wide and come and stand in a nice line here. Crossbows also go wide and also come and stand in this nice line here because the enemy is just going to try and um, come out of defensive mode. Right, all four of you then, you're going off to take them on. What have you got coming against you? There's only two units. There's a unit of cavalry and there's one dragon guard. Yep, so you four should do fine. Yeah, but it looks like their ranged options are coming to try and... No, they're coming back. They're coming back. So the only thing is the general, but Nusaya is quite far away. So we've got a bit of time before he gets involved. Which is good. I, I'm ready. Uh, I, I'm ready. Bows up. Fire at will. Bring them down. They won't get near us. I Well, I shouldn't have thought. But sometimes the AI does bug out. And it even when it's in skirmish mode, it still sort of accidentally runs into you. I, I don't really understand how it's possible, but it does it. Ah, you there. Perfect. Yep, yeah, you hang back and you be the person who goes and takes out Nusair. Now, the enemy cavalry is coming at us. So form a nice wide line and just walk towards them. And then you and you go there like that. Yeah, we are. Yes, perfect. And what we're inviting the cavalry to do is come at us, bro. Trap them in the corner. Trap them in the corner. As wide and as far across as you can get. Just walk at them. Herd them like the sheep that they are. Blindly following these shepherds without questioning anything. I'm not too concerned if we lose um, some of these archers. They're easily retrained. And they are mostly trash, of course. But I would rather you target the crossbowmen because I'm not too concerned with the uh, cavalry. Keep shepherding them. You might get attacked on that side. Perfect. They've taken it. Lower those bikes. Move yourselves up the hill. Victory may seem certain for those dragon riders because they have rather caught us off guard. Uh, they've charged rather well, actually, in fact, but um, they've trapped now, so. Alright. Uh, it's like watching the British advance, isn't it? Shame that they're not in red coats, don't you find? played their hands. The battle is very much in our favour. Come back and get the dragon riders. So we did lose almost an entire unit of Thorn Guard, but this at this tier of the game, this army is just so expendable. And Nusaya is slowly getting closer and closer. The crossbows really we want to hold for Nusaya. Uh, so if you could do me a flavour and run over there. Pidihar's getting involved, the Thornmen have finally turned it around, the Dragon Riders are well and truly out, and just the Dragon Guards, so we don't need to bother, no, they'll just win over there, just speed her up. Archers keeping up the fire, oh the cavalry has kindly gone and stood on top of the archers so that we can uh, shoot them at the same time. Good tidings. The enemy army flees the field. Yeah, the enemy. And run them down. Seeing that they just got themselves caught for no reason whatsoever. Ah, Nusaya is heading out to try and hit our general, aren't they? I want you all to run just backwards. 
crossbows move further forward. You guys come up there. Oh, the other enemy, they, they have been completely killed. So if you could all pull yourselves back. Right, crossbows coming, getting closer. Now we might as well send the Thorn Guard against them actually, because they're basically already out. Speed it up again. There are some Countish Hunters still alive as well. Oh, and our crossbows are running. Oh, for Victory God's sake. Will be ours. Oh well, we'll just surround them. High Paladins are an excellent counter when they're in when there are this many of them. To uh, the Locrian bodyguard, and the even a unit as good remains. as the Locrian when surrounded, there's just there's no hope. This is why the um, the stagger is such a huge impact on battles, and while any yeah, unit that is now relentless is so Pursue much better than it was down. before. Because those units that have just charged into that general, we've lost hardly any of them. Look at the dead on the floor. All the Locrian bodyguard, there's maybe 10 Thorn units there. It's just an, it's just become a massacre. Because they're constantly staggered, so they can't attack, so they don't do any damage. And it's just a, a simple simple victory. Oh, it already is at time six. Come on, people, kill him. Why are the runic generals so like this, good? We will <laughs> smash the enemy. He's just murdering everyone. And if, if by the looks of it, he's actually... No, 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 he's not. There's the general, of course, silver armor. I was going to say, video, don't get yourself killed. You're basically the, the shining the beacon of the enemy Darwinian hope. Dead. Be awed by the victory we lost 267. We have won here today. I think that's a fairly sound victory. An acceptable loss. and Or oh, acceptable losses. And Elgar falls as well. Runes list of provinces dwindles by the day. Very, very pleasing. I'm really looking forward to fighting Dale. I really want to attack Erebor as well, because uh, I've never actually been the attacker in Erebor. Ah! <laughs> Victory! It's only a town, um, Victory! so we'll sack it rather These than exterminate. People now kneel before us, my lord. And the wealth of the Sea of Rune slowly fills into Darwinian coffers. Our money grows, our provinces grow, our army grows. And all the while, Rune falls. Fenris has been assaulted, though. Uh... Oh, no, our relations suffered greatly. I suppose, actually, I wouldn't... we're not all that bothered about our relations suffering greatly because we're going to attack the good factions. Ah, we're finally earning money as well. Right, Austin and Rue is going to be relieved. Logarth's going to be relieved. Both of those. They didn't bother attacking in Santan We. He didn't want that. Yes. Prathir. Ah, yeah, there's an army that might actually you. do some damage. Um, can we divert their attention elsewhere? Yeah, we can yes. stand on that bridge and see what they do. Is that a sizable force? Bugger, yes, it is. Um, we're going to lose Mistrand because I've basically abandoned it to its fate. With honor. Right, Elgar then. Um, leave some troops behind. But the rest of you, if you could head back, yes. we could do with not losing this one. whipping them with the men are spent. Oh, you don't have anything here. Jeez, you're not very useful at all. You have got a merchant skill. That's not too bad. And roads. Oh, and a trading post, actually. That's why you're so wealthy. They've turned you into an economic settlement. Not a military one. That's fine. So, Frothy will head back yes, and we'll just hold on to Harville there. Um, we'll mop up, as I say, this western area. I think we'll focus on that for the moment. So, if we hold into Harville and Mistrand... And then we'll, we'll break out when we can. I want to get some money so we can get some towers set up so we can see what we're doing. And um, also that we can then start replenishing our army because Strondos will probably be good to go in terms of recruitment. Yeah, it's got quite a lot lined up there. Uh, Santanwi, I imagine, has even better options though. Ah, just cavalry options. Uh, so we could do with, uh, with a bit of a rest spice. But we want to make sure that Rune loses everything it has before that point. Uh, I'd be very tempted to seek a sort of tr peace and trade with Dol Guldur by s taking this province and then selling it to them for a high price, but also then hopefully cementing some favourable relations. But anyway, for now, that's going to be all. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you had. 
do note this week we'll only have either one, uh, well, there'll only be one other video and it'll either be Skyrim or Réponse de Lyonnais. Um, I've not decided, oh look at all the towers there are there, jeez. I've not yet decided which one that's going to be. Uh, I'm going to record it on Saturday. And then on next Monday will be the 40,000 subscriber special. So again, if you... Oh, she's awake. If you haven't posted a comment that you would like, you, I'm going to do a question and answer. You're going to see me and indeed the study in which I record all of these videos. Um, but if you haven't yet posted a question, go to the community chat tab of my channel homepage and type your question in the top post there where you can clearly see me asking for questions. And... Um, I'll take a number of those questions and answer them in that video, which will go up on Monday. But until we speak again, dear friends, Navar Naden Peramad Malunin, and farewell.